Rod Hardy moved to Los Angeles in 1992 to launch his American career as a director following considerable success in Australia as a director and producer. Since his award-winning US directorial debut, he has achieved both Golden Globe and Emmy nominations for Movie of the Week and a miniseries. Rod, great to see you. Thanks very much. Tell us about the current project. What are we doing right now? Uh, well, we're on the set on the location of 20th Century Fox here in Los Angeles, and I'm doing a show called Dollhouse, mm -hmm. produced and written by Joss Whedon, who uh, has quite a cult following, quite a successful producer who did things like um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and uh, Angel, etc. And uh, so the series is fairly new. I'm doing episode two, and uh, I think it airs on Fox um, here in the United States at the beginning of January sometime. And it's amazing on set there are just so many Australians. Tell us about this contingent of Aussies. I first came here almost 20 years ago and the journey has been sort of an ongoing one for me but this last uh, visit here I've come across so many Australians who have found their way up in the business whether they be DPs, um, actors or producers there's so many people which is just terrific. Mm -hmm. I mean it's a shame for Australia because we do have to leave to find our strong footing but you know all of us at some stage look forward to getting back home again. So how is the industry different in Australia compared to that of America? You know, it's, it's actually very similar in many ways. I mean, the grips always look the same whether you're here or in Poland or in Melbourne uh, and uh, the gaffers, etc. But, you know, there is an attitude about the business here in Los Angeles. It's big, big money. So the responsibilities are pretty, you know, obvious. So I think that's the, that's the hardest thing, I suppose, that at the end of the day, in Australia we're struggling for budgets and struggling to make those things look as wonderful as we can and we do in Australia but I think here because there's more money we just get that chance to put the you know the cherry on the cake bottom line is that Australian productions have dropped in their costings most of them I know there are some that are now being made for probably a, you know a, a few hundred thousand dollars more but not much more than we were making 15 years ago so money is a major issue and of course the, the networks are saying but we've only got a population of 22 million people mm -hmm. we're here in the United States we have 280 million people you know so there's a much bigger marketplace so how has the industry changed I remember when I started shooting here um, it was movie of the weeks I did for a, a number of years there were I think of all the networks they were making about 50 each of them um, a year that's probably two to three hundred movie of the weeks. Now we'd be lucky to see 15 mm. in total. So that's changed enormously. The, the um, episodic world has got so much better. I mean, American television now in episodic is something that's really terrific to watch. In fact, sometimes I think it's better than the feature films. So what makes a great movie or a miniseries or a TV program? Something that makes you laugh, makes you cry. Uh, keeps you on the edge of your seat and keeps your interest away from wandering off to the refrigerator for another, you know, another beer. Uh, you know, it's, it's all about getting characters that you can care about. Whether you want to care to hate them or love them, you've got to care about them. So, in a sense, film and television is all the same. And Rod, you're world famous for directing Neighbours. Oh, goodness me, yeah. So that still haunts you? It, it's, I, look, it's a nice haunting in one way, but yes. you know, I did one block of episodes of Neighbours, five episodes, one of them was the wedding, mm -hmm. uh, sh uh, the, the famous wedding. Um, and so when Carly and uh, Jason were married, it was one of those days, it was another day, another job, mm -hmm. it was raining. You know, all those problems with the wedding dress that wasn't quite right and had to be fitted a bit more. How long was it going to take? All the problems we normally had. And here we are 20 odd years later, and it's a piece of television history. Mm. So, um, you know, I'm very proud to have been part of it. Uh, I, I um, did a lot of the early days of Australian television. Um, but, but most of all, um, I'm now pleased also to be here working in the United States. So looking back over your career, what's one highlight? Uh, just the highlight is working here, yeah. coming to a lot. So it's a constant highlight? It's a constant yeah. because you have the opportunity of being part of movie history. Mm -hmm. I think I really enjoy that. And in a word, how would you describe Hollywood? Bubbles. <laughs> the bubbles <laughs> that you could drink and have fun with and bubbles that are going to burst one day. And everybody's walking that very fine line of being part of the celebration or the failure. And maybe bubbles to have a, a spa also with the champagne. That would be terrific. Rod, thank you very much.